Weatherfish are named so because they can predict the weather. They're like Pudge the Fish, but they don't control the weather, they just know when it's going to be bad. Before a thunderstorm, these fish will grow agitated. Because of this, weatherfish are often called harbingers of bad weather. While this isn't totally accurate, weatherfish are believed to be able to detect changes in barometric pressure via small bones connecting their swim bladders to their inner ears. Before a storm, barometric pressure drops and weatherfish can sense this. There are currently just under 10 described species of living weatherfish. They live in tropical and temperate freshwater systems throughout Asia and Europe. Some of these fish can tolerate cold water to the point that frost forms. Their tolerance of colder temperatures have allowed them to survive in places they've been introduced. Weatherfish are considered invasive outside of their native habitats because there's evidence to show that they cause destruction when introduced to non-native areas. Weatherfish can also live in oxygen-deprived water, like bedafish. Waterfish can breathe oxygen from the air, though they go about it in a different way. A weatherfish's intestines can turn into a lung-like structure. And if that wasn't crazy enough, the intestines can actually revert back to their digestive duties when the lung structure isn't needed, such as during colder months when there's more oxygen in the water of the weatherfish's habitat. Because they can breathe oxygen from the air, weatherfish can live in dried up puddles with not much more than a layer of mud. They may stay in this state for a month or longer, waiting for the next rain shower. Weatherfish are threatened by habitat loss and warming weather, as some of these temporary puddles may become more permanently dry for longer periods of time. Weatherfish may also be eaten by eels. Weatherfish actually look somewhat like eels with their long, slender bodies. They can reach about a foot in length, with females being longer than males. They have barbels on their faces like catfish, and they use these to sense their environments and to find food. Weatherfish have poor eyesight and no teeth, but they can sense prey like insects, worms, copepods, mollusks, algae, and more using these barbels. Weatherfish are demersal fish, meaning they tend to stay towards the bottom of the water column. They prefer sandy or muddy bottom areas, and may even burrow into the substrate with only their heads sticking out. They may also bury themselves in leaf litter. Weatherfish can be found in ponds, pools, floodplains, wetlands, marshes, ditches, swamps, rice fields, and more. Their young are laid upstream and make their way downstream after hatching. Thousands of eggs may be laid by a female, and these will hatch just over a week after being laid. There's debate about how many eggs a weatherfish female can produce, though it's likely at least 10,000 in a single breeding season. The young fish will make their way downstream to live with the adults until they're ready to breed, at which point they'll return to upstream areas to spawn. Something amazing about these fish is that they frequently produce offspring that are genetically different from their parents. This has made weatherfish an interesting area of study for genetics. For more facts on weatherfish, check out the links in the description. Thank you to Shelly for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.